Welcome to Ethical Hacking and Penetration Testing with Free Tools and Platforms course. Let's go to Kali and run Wireshark. You can open a terminal screen and type Wireshark to start it. So these are the network interfaces that Wireshark is able to listen to. And now we have enough packets to examine, so I'll click the Stop button at the upper left corner of Wireshark to stop listening to the traffic. So first, we have some DNS packets to find out the IP address of the visited site. IP protocol in network layer. Here are the source and destination addresses. Now let's prepare the HPIN command to prepare a DOS attack. The first parameter of the command is dash flood. Hit enter to start the attack. Now because we're in flood mode, no replies are shown. Let's try to click a few links to see the response time of the server while it's under attack. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. It's obviously slowed down. Maybe our request will be timed out? So this is how a simple denial of service attack is performed. Hydra is a free and open source command line tool to crack valid login password pairs online. Now we arrived at a login page that asks for the username and the password. Now, we don't know any credential, and we'll try to find a valid username password pair by online password cracking attack. So let's start to build our attack. L is the first parameter. To keep the attack simple and fast, I suppose that we'll know a valid user, which is going to probably be admin. So I'll use the lowercase l parameter. Now we specify the password dictionary with uppercase p. The next parameter is HTTP POST FORM. Now is the most critical part of building a Hydra attack, setting the options of the service. So we're ready to run the command now. Just hit enter and online password cracking attack starts. Now we'll wait as much as it takes. It reports every minute. And this is the first minute's report. 933 tries per minute. That's pretty good. And it, now here it found a valid username password pair just after the second minute's report. So now let's see the quick scan option of Zap. In the quick start tab, enter the URL address of the application you want to scan and click the attack button to start the scan. First, the spider runs to crawl the application. And at the left pane of the Zap's user interface, you'll see the discovered pages of the application. So now there are yellow or orange flag icons next to some of the pages and folders. That means Zap has already found some medium and low-level vulnerabilities. So look at the Alerts tab. You'll see all the vulnerabilities found by now. And as In the Active Scan tab, there is a button to show the scan progress details. And same as Spider, you can stop or pause the Active Scan phase by clicking the corresponding button. And in the Alerts tab, we'll see the numbers of the findings are increasing. So let's look at the scan progress details. Here, it finds some vulnerabilities in high severity level. It's a reflected XSS. Don't worry, we'll see the vulnerability in detail. The Social Engineering Toolkit, SET, was created by Trusted SEC. It is an open source, Python-driven, specifically designed tool to perform advanced attacks against the human element. It's a standard tool in a penetration tester's arsenal. Paths you can start the toolkit anywhere using set toolkit command. Choose social engineering attacks option in the main menu, that's number one. Let's choose site cloner, number two. Now this is the URL to clone. I use email.nhs.net. And the trap is ready. The site's cloned, Apache server started, and the credential harvester is listening to the inputs now. As the victim, when we visit the malicious website, we will see exactly the same page with email.nhs.net. Enter the username and password, click sign in. Our malicious website redirected the victim to the original page, email.nhs.net. It's a good idea. The victim will not be in any doubt about the fraud. 
Turn back to the attacker system, Kali, and you'll see the credentialed information entered by the victim. 